I'm doing well. Got a lot to do tonight because I leave for that backpacking trip first thing tomorrow morning. So, might be a little distracted because my brain's like, what did I forget? I feel that gorgeous. There we go, more manageable. Now, that lovely, lovely face of yours definitely looks like you could use a little brushing today. She's good. She has one of her D&D sessions tonight. But she's had a rough couple day at work. Couple days at work. They've been short staff, so. But we did film a YouTube video last night giving her a back massage, which is live on YouTube now. So she did get a little It is currently 6.51 where I am and I will be live until 8 p.m. my time. So a little over an hour. And we're just gonna stipple. 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 And my interview for the new position today, I think it went well, so we'll see, I should hear within the next two weeks or so. do a bit of a scalp massage, but I think I'm going to use the mannequin today, so we're just going to get her in place. Jemiah, thank you for correcting me. I'll get it right now. Jemiah. I don't know why my brain didn't pronounce it that way. That seems like it makes perfect sense. Alright, so we're just going to get her in place here. Do a little bit.
just gonna turn this a little bit. So we've got her right here. Thank you. So last time we did her hair, we put all these beautiful butterflies in it. But I think we're gonna go ahead and take those out for the time being. That way we can really get in there. all these little butterflies out. And this one here. This one. Let's there we Nice little storage. I keep them all right here. It's what I came in. It's super convenient. Alright, let's see. This one has gotten all wrapped up in the hair. So we're just gonna wiggle this one out. Does anyone have any fun plans for the weekend? Sleeping, you know what? That sounds amazing. Ooh, to Paris. That's exciting. It's a very romantic place to get married. Yeah, another weekend warrior. Dig my nails in just a little bit more. So I am leaving tomorrow morning, bright and early, to go on a backpacking trip. So we're getting a lot of rain here in the Pacific Northwest, so we had to change locations a little bit. So we were going to do a backpacking trip that was like three hours away. Now we're going to do one a little bit more like seven hours away. But So we're headed out tomorrow. Hopefully it, it doesn't drag on. I was like, it's a little bit. What's the next break? Thanksgiving break? Do both. <laughs> do that. Do a little bit on mine. It's still a little damp because I just washed it. That's a lot of gorgeous. I'm sorry that you have to be in a position right now to work two jobs. I feel like I'm gonna lose this. Because I am. Okay. Alright, now I'm just gonna start to examine the scalp a little more closely. I'm just gonna see if we've got any bugs or anything crawling around here. So I'm noticing a little bit of buildup, but so far nothing alive. I am 
seeing a little something right here. What is that? Oh, so that is a bug. So we're just gonna take that on out. Wasn't lice though. I'm not exactly sure what kind of bug that was, but it almost looks like a little like a really small mite. news is looks like it might have been the only one which tells me doing a good job taking care of your hair thing is they always make these mannequins with their eyes wide open like they're closed. At least the skincare ones, the eyes are closed. And uh, my bedroom is in the same room I record so I have to like turn her head away so we don't accidentally make eye contact when I'm like Like that's all you need is to like wake up when you're half asleep and uh, just look into a pair of eyes. There we go. Yeah. Some people don't, but I had a really fun time. Um, one of my co-workers, whose seasonal position just ended, brought his six-month-year-old son in the other day. He's super adorable, but uh, I love babies in the sense that ASMR tends to affect them, so I was just like tickling his forehead, which was just putting him to sleep. He was so cute. I got to babysit while his dad was finishing up some paperwork. I'm the kind of person that I tap on my nail. I don't think it's technically supposed to be. It's like a geometric shirt. But it might be mixed in there. did watch the Barbie movie. And I did enjoy it. Just like that personal attention of like a bubble. side. Oh, got a little bit. Let us see. What else should we do? So many options. I haven't gotten into this drawer in a little bit. Got a lot of our fidgets. Barbie would I be? You know, I didn't really think about 
Some of these are probably going to go into work with me, but you get off. Welcome back, Graylin. Pins. I think I do have pins, but I haven't been able to find my foam mic attachment, which I think is where it sounds best. I think the ferret stole. will sound the same in this. so much better on foam and I don't know where that darn thing went. I found it and then I lost it again. But the ferret really likes foam stuff so Let's see we got see it just be a fairy. In this case, it is a ferret fairy is what it is, but yeah, my dad has a pet ferret. We call him Noodle, and he is super cute, but um, they are hoarders of Downstairs in his little enclosure. He's cute though. Ferrets are really funny. I had never been around ferrets before my dad caught him. And they're kind of like noodle cats with way more energy. But he's cute, but they they're very spazzy. At least he is. I don't know if that's fairly normal ferret behavior, but he is very high energy. Oh, we got some of these. something, maybe because I'm used to cats. I don't know if it's similar. It's not that bad to me. The only thing that makes me sad is he's not cuddly. 
I try, I'll try and like swaddle him and turn him into a sweet little burrito and he will not have it. He does not want to cuddle. You know, a lot of people say that because Jess is featured more in the lives than she is the videos. And so people are like, I don't know why, why are you saying there are two of you? We've only seen it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and help you brush your teeth. So if you'll just open up. Thank you. And we're just going to go. Speaking of dentist, it inevitably happens every year. Because I, you know, I go to the dentist twice a year. And I'll just make the appointment for the next time I arrive. And it always happens that I make plans for that appointment. I was supposed to have my dentist appointment this Tuesday, but I am out of town. for the lid sounds, but I kind of am yeah, struggling. Sure Saturdays, and then Jess goes live on Thursdays. I will be gone tomorrow, so there won't be a live tomorrow, so I'll be back next Friday. That's not weird at all, so I thank you. Alright, so we're gonna read a little bit out of this poetry book. It is the Poetic Underground by Emily Hansen. This is book one reverie. 
and I like to pick poems by having you all give me a page number. So let me get your ranges here. If I could have some of you pick some numbers between 6 and 82. is called now. We're waiting for tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. Our last breath is right upon our heels, yet we still refuse to run. 86,400 seconds, and we're in another day all slipping through our fingers as we look the other way. Days, weeks, months, and years are made up of right now, a string of fleeting moments that we never can pin down. We gaze into the future as though it's where we're meant to be. Always planning for that day when we can say that we're happy. We spend so long looking forward that we may as well be blind. Since we don't see until the very end all the things we've left behind. Now I know it's just a theory but I think I've worked out how the only way to happiness is to love what we have now. I think that's very true. I think it's very easy to get wrapped in chasing a future where there's more of this or less of that, but we're constantly moving the goalposts, so we're just always reaching but never there, right? Oh yeah, that Ren Fair's tomorrow, Kylie, and how did you dislocate your finger? Oh my gosh. Does anyone else want to pick a number between 6 and 82 and we'll read another poem. That is impressive. I, you know, you're the first person I think I've heard of dislocating a finger while baking. I've heard of cutting fingers, maybe jamming them, but dislocating them. That is impressive. I'm sorry, but hopefully you can just dress up your little splint pretty good. So the one on 55 is not quite a poem because she doesn't title them, but they're like a short little um, like words of wisdom thought. She torments every thought I have, drowns my mind with words of terror. When I got to knock them from her mouth, all my fists find is the mirror. So, being your own worst enemy. Alright, I think we're gonna pick one of these tagged ones. Because these are some of my favorite. Mm -hmm.
this is one of my favorites. This one is titled Universe. I stumbled across a grain of truth in the sun's last drop of light as I stood out in my garden and watched the fruit bats daily flight. They moved as though united, their flapping wings a silent dance. And as they flew above me, I stood frozen in a trance. Their flight conveyed such beauty, but had no thoughts of who would see. And I wondered if they realized how much I wish that could be me. Then as I looked, I noticed that my life was a dance too, and I was connected to the world in ways I never even knew. The heartbeat of the planet keeps a steady, even beat that echoes in the ribcage of every creature that we meet. I know now it's foolish thinking, there's just one thing I can be, because I am the universe, and the universe is me. And again, that was the Poetic Underground. There it is. Alright, I see somebody popped in 13. I'll read one for you, Taylor. Let's see what's on 13. So 13's another one of those short ones. But you warned me not to love, that you just weren't worth my time. But your flaws are only fatal because I'd kill to make them mine. Kind of an excessive love, I like it. If you guys liking the poetry, we could definitely do more. I could do this all night. I'll read another one of my This one is called Stars. You think you can define me, that I'm a tick in just one box, like my being is a door that a single key unlocks. But let me tell you something, I have the universe inside, I hold an untamed ocean with a constant changing tide. I'm a home to endless mountains with tips that touch the sky. Flocks of grand migrating birds and deserts harsh and dry. I house the wildest rivers and a host of sweeping plains. I feel in waves of sunshine or in unrelenting rains. Don't tell me that you know me, that this right here is what you are. I am the universe in motion, for I was born from stars. Leave your worries by the shoreline and run your bare feet through the sand. Let the water be a soft bed when you cannot bear to stand. Make friends with flying seagulls and hold the sun up in your palm. Before you duck beneath the water where the world is mute and calm. Tell the fish all of your problems as they all come swimming past. 
when your lungs are close to bursting, swim above the waves and gasp. Let the water hold your sadness and wash it right out to the sea. So like a message in a bottle, all your worries are set free. And the sea might make you feel alone, but the world has troubles too. For how else do you suppose that the ocean got so blue? Just very soothing. Something about the cadence of poetry. That one was good. Okay. Alright, we're going to do one more and then we'll move on. Because I know at least one person's waiting on a hairstyle. But we can always come back to this. And we're going to do the one on page 43. And it is paths. From the second that you're in this world, they tell you what is fair. The questions you are allowed to ask and the ones you wouldn't dare. Placed on the path they've paved for you, life pushes you along without the chance to stop and think. It's right, if it's right where you belong. But beyond your pathway's edges is where living really starts. A land of risks and danger, and a land of broken hearts. They'll tell you you should fear this land, that there's no good there at all. As they live their lives as they've been taught, behind expectations wall. The best people you will ever meet have wandered off their track, found themselves along the way, and have no need to wander back. So forget about life's road map, follow your heart at any cost, for you'll never truly find yourself if you're too scared to get lost. separate things a couple of different ways. Use my tool here to separate out the hair. So I do want to separate out a small section right at the top here. And I'm going to go ahead and clip that there out of the way. Separating along this side. So I'm going to do kind of a lace braid uh, along the side of the head here. So we're just going to separate over into three strands. And I'm just going to pull hair from the lower section here, just adding it in. Keep adding in hair until we reach towards the back of the head, just like so, and then we're just going to finish off 
as a standard three strand braid all the way down so you've got a braid that kind of follows the curvature of your head we're just going to tie that off there perfect and then we're going to mimic the braid on the opposite side here Sorry. same thing this section up top. So we're just gonna R and the cat back. I hadn't got as far as deciding what I wanted to do with this top piece. I just don't want to do braids. I think I'm gonna do like a fishtail, right? what I'm going to do. Great, just a change in texture. And then we'll pull it out to give it some volume. So with the fishtail, here I'm going to have you turn around. It's going to be a little bit easier. Perfect. And then just tilt your head back. Awesome. So with the fishtail, I'm gathering two strands. Having a section from one going over and under the next one. And I just keep grabbing from the outside there. And we're doing it kind of as a French style, so I'm adding in hair as we go on each side. Just a little bit. And these braids take a little bit longer because we're such fine sections of hair. We're just going to keep pulling that all the way down. All the way down. Alright, and then I'm just going to tie it off. We're going to go back and just loosen up that braid a bit. So just tugging on strands, making it a little bit more voluminous, a little bit less neat. Welcome in, sticky baby. want to do the tingle train version or the standard one. Alright, and now, so we've got one lace braid along one side, another lace braid along the other, a fluffy fishtail down the center, and then we're going to pull out just a couple of face framing.
Okay. Alright, so just go ahead and hold it still. We're just gonna drape those right over. And then, just to make sure your hair stays just at least as we've placed it, words are hard, I'm gonna go ahead and just hairspray it down. So I'm just gonna cover up your eyes. Perfect. And you. when I decided I wasn't going to brush your hair for this hairstyle. We're going to we're going to go back in time and just just a little bit. And then we'll take Tingle J. Do you just the one? I have like the slightest counterpart, but pretty much just that one. I'm just going to go back in time and just brush it a little bit cuz I do like my brushing sound. Now I am satisfied. Alright, now it's time for a little tingle dream. Yeah, we'll do your makeup after this. So before doing your makeup, we want you to be in a total state of relaxation. So we're going to take a little spin on the tingle dream. Are you ready? your eyes drooping a little bit more, but I think one more spin along that tingle tray <laughs> will help put you to sleep. Did she uh, need the book to read it, or does she have it memorized yet? I tease her about that all the time. Stipple. I've kind of 
have been the primary on this ASMR account. Um, I would say I do like the vast majority of TikTok videos, but she's definitely getting more involved with me on the YouTube videos, especially since a lot of you enjoy real person ASMR. So we've been teaming up a lot more for that. So, and she's really got the creative flair for a lot more of the role playing. So, <laughs> hey, cute. I got it from my mama. Okay, I'm like a little twin of my mom. Now that we've got you nice and relaxed, let's go ahead and do some like. Elfin fairy makeup to match that amazing hairstyle. My makeup's over here. Thank you, Jack. Alright, there is part of it. And here is our eyeshadow palette. Now, everyone can have a different idea of what elf fairy makeup, what it'll look like, but I'm thinking soft, dewy, not a lot of like sharp edges, so I might probably gonna go like a soft brown eyeshadow as a liner. Definitely more delicate. I've tried to get her to do ASMR a couple of times. There is a fantasy ASMR um, like uh, cinematic series that my sister and I started on YouTube a while ago. It's been like a year and a half since we've done one of those videos. But one of the things that has paused us is we need like a couple of extra characters. And I think we're gonna make my mom play one. Even if I just like throw a cloak over her. But I try to get her to do it all the time. But she's one of those moms. She doesn't want to be in pictures. She doesn't want to be in videos. She's like, I never existed. <laughs> Oh, uh, right. So, did they continue that series or did they pause it? I liked Fate. We watched it a little bit and I loved the Winx Club. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to start by getting a little of this foundation on. So we're not doing a lot. We're just going to kind of blur some of the edges. So I'm kind of focusing like more on the jaw area right up here. And kind of leaving some of this natural cheek contour on. I know I was so sad when it discontinued because I'm not a huge TV show person. I tend to read more than I watch shows. But that was one show I was enjoying. Alright. We do have a YouTube link is in the link tree in our bio. And we just posted a new video tonight. What am I doing? I'm going to do blush. Actually, I'm going to start with bronzer. So for this, I am going to create some angles, I think, just very faint. But um, for some reason, like when I definitely think over very, it's definitely like some, while well, it's like delicate features, there's definition. Like kind of otherworldly is what I'm thinking. Thank you, darling. So I'm just gonna kind of create some shadows here. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like that's the interesting part, right, Maggie? I need you to see my vision. Alright, and we're gonna do very light on the, on the blush. Definitely go for like that natural blush, and it's gonna be kind of kind of a high placement. Again, kind of going with that like very statuesque look, otherworldly. Okay, so again, went kind of minimal on. Skin. I think we're gonna stick 
definitely more of a natural look with the eyes. So I'm thinking like a taupe or gold maybe. Got some options. So we've got this light gold here. Again, like just kind of a natural shimmer, nothing super dramatic. I've got another gold here. This is a little bit more rich. Ooh, that might be it. Such a nice color. This is kind of almost like a highlight color, very like a champagne. Again, it's got a really nice shimmer to it. What if we blended these? So, one on the inner corner and one towards the outer. I think that'll look nice. I got it from Amazon. Alright, that's what I think we're gonna do. So, let me find an appropriate brush here. So we're going to do kind of the champagne again on the inner corner and just kind of drag it out to that more goldy bronze on the outer corner. And I'm going to start with the darker color. So just bringing in some of that lighter kind of champagne color and just sweeping that in and just creating like this really pretty blend. You know what's funny is right before I started this live I had popped into Sleep ASMR this live and I'm pretty sure she had this exact makeup style going on and it looked phenomenal. It was like a like a champagne into a Thank you all so much for subscribing. We are so close to getting monetized on YouTube, which is one of my long-term goals for making a smart like a career. So thank you so much. Thank you, Darby. Thank you, Dayless. There's quite a bit of content between TikTok lives and YouTube only videos. There's like I have to check. There's probably about 400 videos on YouTube. So there's, there's a lot of content on YouTube. <laughs> I've been on YouTube longer than I've been on TikTok. Alright, now for that eyeliner. So we're gonna get a fine brush and I think I want something kind of on the rich side for this. So I've got like a taupe here, but I think Too faint. Thinking this. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. But it's kind of like, let me grab more, it's kind of like a chocolatey brown. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to use. I have to do the math. I think it's, I think we're right at two years. So let's see. I started on YouTube in September of 2020, so I'm almost, so I'm three years on YouTube, and I think I started TikTok the following year, so I think you're right. Alright, we're just gonna pick this up on just this fine, and just kind of relax your eye for me, but look straight at me. February 13th. Do you know my birthday is the 15th? You almost discovered it on my birthday. I think about 2015, 2016 is when I got into it too. Alright, just doing a gentle wing. Again, using a brown so it's not, not a very um, like super distinct line. And we are going to feather it out just a little. We're right there. Let's 
Tuesday, March 16th. Is that Aries? You're like right on the cusp. No, that's still Pisces, huh? That's really good, Stinky Baby. It took me a little bit longer. Hold on. I'm just going to pop you down here for... Yeah, that, yeah I was going to say 21st, 22nd puts you right on the cusp then. Which is really interesting. I'm really curious about that cusp because that's going to put you right on the water fire cusp, I think, right? Wait, what? Or is it Taurus? No, water and fire don't cusp, do they? Is it Taurus? That's right after, at the end of March? I know Aries is April. Hmm. It's probably Taurus. I don't think water Good. I definitely didn't discover ASMR until I was in my teens, but I want to say I discovered ASMR like two years after it really started to become a thing. The spring equinox. I'm, I'm, I imagine if you're born on the spring equinox, that's a really good sign. It's a very hopeful time of year. We will do just a little bit of a brown mascara. Again, we want to keep this kind of soft looking. Thank you. Pisces. I can give you a lot of generics. So, Pisces rules, if I remember correctly, the 12th house, which is... No, not the 12th house. No, it's the 12th house. Pisces is the 12th house. You know what? Maybe I should just wait because I'm second guessing everything as it comes out of my mouth. So, if I remember correctly, the 12th house is the house of like transformation. It's the house of like deep thought. Think of like an ocean. That's kind of what it all is. It's mystery. It's thought. It's expression. It's kind of the end of a cycle. So within your chart, there are planets, but there are also houses, which are kind of themes. If Again, I'm not as a, like a horoscope expert, so take it all with a grain of salt, but that's my understanding. And so, Pisces is a water sign, which tends to mean that you're very in tune with your emotions. Again, there's other things in your chart, but Pisces is a sun sign. It's going to mean there's going to be like a lot of that, usually orientated around family, things along those lines. I have Pisces placements in my Venus and in my moon sign. So I have a fair amount of things. <laughs> a lot of water signs tend to be. Yes, you are Sagittarius, right, Kylie? Yeah, Sagittarius. Yeah, and it's really interesting because a lot of like my friends growing up were also Pisces moon. So Gemini, my mother is. And I'm an Aquarius, so I get along really well with Gemini. Pisces do, usually. Those fire signs in me can butt heads a little bit more, but I believe you are. I haven't known as many Sag or like fire placements. A lot of people I naturally attract into my life tend to be air sign placements or earth sign placements, what I found. So 
So like a lot of my friends growing up were Libra, Husser, other Aquarians, or Gemini, like just naturally, naturally kind of are drawn in. My sister is a sweet little Cancer, which means um, she spends about like half her day crying. We call her a sweet little magic carp. She cries when she's happy, she cries when she's sad. All of it. <laughs> and then cancers, a lot of their emotions are centered around the home and family. So they're a very nurturing sign. Just finish makeup, so we probably won't do that again tonight. Um, but I should hopefully, hopefully have this by next week. Unless you all really want me to try and fit in a quick makeup. I'm ending the live in about five minutes, so we might be able to squeeze in makeup if you want to do all of that again. Like a quick one. Like maybe we'll focus on the eyes. The eyes. They had to pause because there was a burn ban that went into effect, which included recreational burning. Uh, but I'm hoping to start them again here in the fall, which the autumn equinox is tomorrow, y'all. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to start them again, but we just gotta wait until I can legally have fires again. It does work on me, and... It's interesting with the lives because I tend to have a mix like I'm I'm relaxed but also because I enjoy like interacting I also am kind of like excited but yes every once in a while especially with tapping if we do like a long tapping session you'll kind of see my eyes start to go down because tapping is one of those things that not only do I enjoy listening but I like to to do it's very I definitely don't watch my own ASMR to fall asleep, though, if that's what you mean. Like, during lives, I can be soothed by it, but it's kind of like hearing your own voice on a recording. Like, it just doesn't quite sound right to you, even though other people are like, no, that sounds just like you. Alright. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of makeup, I think just go right in with these sparkles. <laughs> I know, it just, you know, I, I was reading one time or watching a video or something about, it has to do with like, how your voice echoes, that that's why it sounds so different to you, because you're constantly hearing an echoed version. I'm sure if any of you sing professionally, you probably have a better explanation of this, because I think singers go through something similar. I do have a really nice green color here we can add in. So we'll do some of that too. We're just gonna pick up a little bit. Um, we're just gonna do. It is just about 8 p.m. my time, but I am going backpacking tomorrow, so I'm I'm ending a little early tonight because I still have to finish stuffing my bag. How far is the uh, rent fair you're going to? D G I F D G I F. Alright, and now we're just going to. Well, that's not too bad. 
but you still have to get all your props and stuff ready. All right, I know that was pretty quick for the makeup, but we are going to go ahead and do our countdown now. Countdown to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh yeah, we'll have fun tomorrow at home. You know, I think actually my favorite is volleyball. I really enjoy a good volleyball game. Good idea. Let's go ahead and echo it. <laughs> I know she's pretty good about also doing the countdowns. Should go away. A little static. Okay, voice of We're just getting ready to wrap it up right now, um, Maria, because I am leaving for backpacking and I have to finish packing. Oh my gosh, good luck, Anne. Yeah. What position do you play? Alright, so now we're going to do our echoed, echoed countdown. Ready? Let's see, we'll go ahead and do it. just need to change the cord. I think I got a new one. Two. One. Zero. Hi, Amelia. I'm sorry I'm popping out a little early, but I leave for backpacking tomorrow. But we did post 